Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make phone call and launch WhatsApp in your Flutter application using URL Launcher Package. Before we start, if you like our video, make sure you like, share and subscribe to our channel. In this tutorial, I have created a simple Flutter application with one WhatsApp icon and one phone icon. And on both icons, I have added a gesture detector widget to handle the on tap function. In this tutorial, we will be using this URL launcher package which you can find in pub.dev. To avoid any error, I would suggest to use the same version of URL launcher package that I use in this tutorial. Before we start implementing on the code side, we need to add some configuration in the project to use the package. As you know, Flutter is a cross-platform framework, hence we need to add the configuration on both Android and iOS. For iOS, look for info.plist file and add the following keys in the configuration. This key configuration is very important. Without it, it will not launch the dealer app and WhatsApp. Same goes to Android. Look for android.manifest file and paste the following command after the manifest. Now we have added configuration for both Android and iOS. We can start implementing on the code side now. In order to use the URL launcher, firstly we need to pass the WhatsApp link and the phone number into the URI format. For the WhatsApp link, according to WhatsApp official documentation, they have provided a universal link which have a full number in international format. And we can add that format and pass it to the URI format. You just have to change the phone number according to your needs and it will launch a WhatsApp to the specific WhatsApp user. Now we can call a launch URL method to the ONTAP function in the WhatsApp icon to launch the WhatsApp link. Same for the phone icon, but for the phone icon, we will use can launch URL method, which will return a boolean. The reason to use can launch URL is because in the simulator, there is no dealer app, which means that it can't open the dealer app to make phone call. Now we have finished the configuration and the code implementation. For us to reflect the function in the app, we need to quit the application and rerun the application. Now when we click on the WhatsApp icon, as you can see, it launched the WhatsApp web with the specific phone number that we entered just now in the link. And when we click on the phone icon, it printed out an instance of the future value. In order for us to retrieve the future value, we need to use a sync and a wait. Now when we click on the icon, it printed out false. Again, this is because 
the simulator does not have the dealer app. In order to launch it, we have to use a real device. If you are trying this tutorial, feel free to comment below and let us know if you manage to launch the dealer app. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you like our video, make sure you like, share and subscribe to our channel. And if you have any question regarding configuration or code implementation, feel free to comment below as well and we will try our best to help you. Or even you have any interested topic that you would like to see regarding Flutter, comment below as well. See you in the next tutorial.